my name is Bipul Sinha, founder and CEO of Rubrik. And in the next uh, several slides, we are going to tell you what Rubrik is about, what we do, and how we are different. And then we'll have a quick demo followed by a deep dive where you can ask any technical questions. We'll give you a sense of our architecture, things like that. Okay? So, as I said, a very quick agenda, simple. Uh, we'll go over a few slides and then jump into the demo and tech deep dive that you're most interested in. So what we do, uh, in one sentence what we do is time machine for cloud infrastructure, essentially providing Apple-like simplicity for your backup and recovery, underpinned by Google-like scale-out web scale infrastructure. And this is a loaded sentence, and I'm going to unpack it as we go through the presentation. A little bit about us. So we started the company uh, last year, January. So we are one year and few months old. Um, we are a 50-people company today. We have raised uh, $51 million in venture capital. We are based in Palo Alto. In terms of the founding team, again, uh, my name is Bipul Sinha. Um, before Rubrik, I was a venture capitalist at Lightspeed, and I funded a number of companies that you have met in the past or you have met yesterday. So I'm the first investor, current board member of Nutanix, Pornix Data, Bromium, and a bunch of other uh, technology companies in the infrastructure analytics space. Um, and before uh, being a, uh, before my venture capital career, I was an engineer product guy at Oracle, where I was part of the core kernel team of Oracle building database products. And my co-founders, uh, Nitro, you'll meet when we do technology deep dive. Um, he is our CTO, and and we have our founding team also has very deep product technology background from Google, Facebook, Oracle companies where the large scale distributed system, scale out system, were built uh, for enterprise, for consumer products, things like that. And now meet our newest member of the team. We are announcing that this right here. Hey there, Virtualization Field Day 5 delegates. Sorry I couldn't be here with you, but I hope you're having a great time sifting through mountains of content. And make sure to be nice to Mike Tapus. I'm announcing right here on VFD5, just for you, that I have joined Rubrik as their technical evangelist. Whoa, right? Let me give you just a few moments to go completely nuts on Twitter. All right, that should be plenty of time. I'm sure Luke Deakins has already written a power CLI script to automate the tweets. Perhaps Vladin has already written a blog post on his blog. Now, I figure it's best to start off with the right foot. So I'm going to make sure everyone watching gets to fill out the full buzzword bingo card. That's my gift to you. Ready, set, go. It's a new paradigm. Our competition dropped the ball. Did we touch base on that? On premise. Gartner. Let's uh, double click on that. Single pane of glass. Re-envisioning. Let's uh, funnel that down. We have to think outside the box. Um, Gardner? What's the net net? What's the ask? We're gonna have to circle back. That's the drop dead date. Did you follow that best practice? All right, that was fun. Let's be serious for just a moment. Rubrik has extremely passionate people who are dedicated to building an incredibly sexy solution. I'm really excited to be joining up with them, and I know you'll enjoy this session. I'd like to ask three things of you for this session. Number one, make sure to engage, ask questions, and get as much value out of it as you possibly can, just like any other field day session. If there's anything I can do to fill in the gaps or provide feedback after the session, don't hesitate, reach out to me, I will take care of you. And probably the most important request, keep being awesome with your content. You're at Virtualization Field Day 5 because the community recognizes your passion, dedication, and objectiveness to technology. I'm looking forward to all of your blog posts throughout this entire field day. Take care. We are super excited to have Chris on our side. <laughs> Why? Obviously, um, have you met him? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You, you know the now. guy. Spend a bunch of time with him, and um, and we are a growing team. 
and uh, you will see more of us as we uh, expand our uh, go to market strategy and our sales team and marketing team in terms of our investors um, as i said before we raised uh, series a and series b um, from uh, lightspeed and greylock but in addition we have uh, folks who built the last generation companies and product in the backup and recovery space and when we were ideating rubric we went to them and asked for feedback and and we asked them that you guys build the data domain and net backup semantic veritas uh, what's the next evolution in the journey of backup and recovery and how the backup and recovery would look if you are reimagining this whole space today and they not only were very supportive of our ideas but they also wanted to invest in our companies in our company and 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 they did so we are very grateful that john frank and mark joined us on our journey very early on and they are helping us on this process of creative destruction where we are reimagining this this whole space so let's talk about rubric and and why we exist so in 2013 when four of us were thinking about rubric one thing that that occurred to us that was that backup and recovery has not really changed in the last 12 to 15 years the last big innovation was data domain and data domain tried to replace tape and created a very very large market for themselves but the fundamental like architecture didn't change you had some new player come into the market and start to copy the higher end backup software solution for the masses but fundamentally the architecture remained the same you still had all these moving parts of so backup server proxies replication catalog database metadata uh, database and behind that you had a a backup storage tape archive offsite storage and fundamentally this uh, architecture is remains untouched by everything that has happened in the enterprise you have <coughs> flash virtualization cloud uh, large memories commodity compute so much innovation in the open source software scale out uh, intelligent software on commodity hardware this space is completely untouched by it and that was our starting point that we want to fundamentally reimagine how backup and recovery would be and that was the genesis of rubric so what rubric does is it converges the data management which is data acquisition version management catalog management as well as globally deduplicated storage into a single piece of software that scales just like google amazon facebook and that is converged data management as we imagined it any questions well, lots of them but <laughs> you might as well keep going okay <laughs> <laughs> so how does it work you might ask so this is your primary environment where you have the backend uh, uh, emc netapp hp dell server running vmware hypervisor in case of hyperconvergence you have a storage and compute as a single tier in this environment you can bring rubric n and in less than 15 minutes less than 15 minutes we'll start to take the gold image of your primary system and start to instantiate the backup system and once we have the data once we have the data in our system if one or more of your primary system vm says any issues your primary is corrupt data is lost you can reinstantiate that application that vm using rubric as the storage endpoint like within seconds so your rto goes down to zero there is no restoration something fails you restart your vm using vmdk image that we keep nfs using an nfs interface and based on the policies you can actually uh, decide you want to keep 30 days 90 days 120 days in rubric and then we can push the colder data for compliance for governance for 5 years 7 years into the cloud and finally this is the most important innovation what we do is when we acquire data 
from your primary system, we tear open your VMDKs and look into your file structure for a structural integrity. And we extract the metadata and keep the metadata on our server in our flash. And we allow you to search for files, whether the files are in the snapshot sitting on rubric or on in the cloud. And you get instantaneous access to your data. This is a very important innovation because today, people who use cloud as, a, as an archival point, they just dump, create a tarball and put it on the cloud. Our cloud is fully indexed. So if you want to get one VM from the cloud, or one snapshot from the cloud, or one file from the cloud, you can just transport that one data using our search technology. Cool. And you can scale out. You can start with three or four node cluster within a 2U box and just scale as long as and as, as big as you want to build our system. So it's like a super micro sort of thing underneath. You've got four boxes and two, yes. two U. Yes. Okay. And again, practically speaking, no limit. You're saying this is intended to scale as big as you might want to go. So the architect of our file system that we have built he comes from Google, and, and he built Google <coughs> Colossus, which starts at like 10,000 node cluster. <laughs> he has to reorient his mind to start at the three node cluster because that's the minimum configuration that, that we want our customers to have an option. So it starts three node, and you can go to tens of thousands of nodes. There is no limits. Are nodes all the same size, or are they customizable as far as capacity, that sort of thing? So or? today, uh, our, what we are shipping, mm -hmm. it is the same size, okay. but system is not designed for a similar configuration. You can mix and match, and going forward, we'll introduce new SKUs okay. with what different configurations. What is the size? What, uh, what's, a, what's a normal, what's a, the minimum three-node three, three node cluster? So minimum three-node cluster would uh, support like 200 VMs. 200 VMs? And what do you, like, what does that translate into for... You know, capacity. I know it's not quite the. So the capacity, effective capacity, you can get is something around like seventy-five to hundred terabyte. Okay. And and then you can scale it. Uh, so this is one to U box, in minimum of three nodes, yep. and then you can scale it. Depends on on your system and how much history you want to keep. Cool. So essentially, what Rubrik provides is a complete data management, whether you want instantaneous recovery. You want to get, your, get access to your data through search. You can archive the data into the cloud. You don't have to go tape route. The archival of data in motion as well as at rest is all encrypted. And finally, if you think about it, what we have is a storage system where data is pre-built into it because we have the past version of your production data. So for your lower end workloads, such as test and dev, uh, analytics, you can use Rubrik and the data that we have built into it. The, the cool Rubrik technology is that the gold image that is sitting on our system can be given out to hundreds or thousands of developers, and they can all write to us without copying data. They just write their own data patches. And, 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 and if they make a mistake or if they corrupt the data, they can one click go back and restart without ever copying data out. <laughs>